October 9, 2018 Tim P. Whitby, Getty Images Politics is very much in and Rihanna isn't one to stay out. The Barbadian pop star took to her Instagram early Tuesday to urge Americans to register to vote. Even though the singer isn't American, she has lived in the United States since the mid-2000s when she was just a teenager and is very much in tune with American culture and society, as her latest post is testament to. In the post, she shared an image displaying the last day to register in each state, reminding her fans that today, October, 9, is the last day to register in 14 states, including Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, New Mexico, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Texas. Good morning America. Who is awake this morning? And who is woke? Cause today is an extremely crucial day to the future of America. The 30-year-old began her long caption, she went on to say that she is specifically addressing the citizens of the states whose last day to register is today before listing them. The post garnered more than 82,000 likes and more than 1,500 in under an hour, with fans thanking her for her civic awareness, writing comments like Rihanna for president and I love that you are so woke. View this post on Instagram Good Morning America. Son, who is awake, this morning? And who is woke? Cause today is an extremely crucial day to the future of America. Today is the last day in 14 states to register to vote. I'm talking to you Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, New Mexico, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas. You have one job today and that is to properly register to vote. I don't care what responsibilities you have today, there's no greater responsibility than being in control of your future and the future starts now. We don't have time, no procrastinating, don't let the discouragement take you off course, that's not how my people or my generation will go down, this is the loudest way to make your voice heard. Register today. Let's go. Go to vote.org to register and to double and triple check that you are properly registered. A post shared by Bajal Riri, at Bajal Riri, on October 9, 2018 at 3.15 a.m. PDT Rihanna continued to address the importance of properly registering by saying that the citizens of those states have one and only job today, which is to get up and register focusing on the responsibility her generation has to make a difference. I don't care what responsibilities you have today, there's no greater responsibility than being in control of your future and the future starts now. We don't have time, no procrastinating, don't, let the discouragement take you off course, that's not how my people or my generation will go down, this is the loudest way to make your voice heard, she wrote. Riri's post comes after Taylor Swift caused an uproar by publicly addressing her political views for the first time through her Instagram on Sunday. In the post, the country star said she will be voting for Democrats in the upcoming elections in her home state of Tennessee, which caused a surge in voter registrations, The Guardian reported. The director of communications for Vote.org Kamari Guthrie said that there were 65,000 registrations in the 24-hour period after the singer posted her statement to social media, as per The Guardian. This means that out of the 5,183 voter registrations that happened this month in the state, at least 2,144 occurred after Swift posted her statement, the publication continued. View this post on Instagram. I'm writing this post about the upcoming midterm elections on November 6, in which I'll be voting in the state of Tennessee. In the past, I've been reluctant to publicly voice my political opinions, but due to several events in my life and in the world in the past two years, I feel very differently about that now. I always have and always will cast my vote based on which candidate will protect and fight for the human rights I believe we all deserve in this country. 
I believe in the fight for LGBTQ rights, and that any form of discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender is wrong. I believe that the systemic racism we still see in this country towards people of color is terrifying, sickening and prevalent. I cannot vote for someone who will not be willing to fight for dignity for all Americans, no matter their skin color, gender or who they love. Running for Senate in the state of Tennessee is a woman named Marsha Blackburn. As much as I have in the past and would like to continue voting for women in office, I cannot support Marsha Blackburn. Her voting record in Congress appalls and terrifies me. She voted against equal pay for women. She voted against the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, which attempts to protect women from domestic violence, stalking, and date rape. She believes businesses have a right to refuse service to gay couples. She also believes they should not have the right to marry. These are not my Tennessee values. I will be voting for Phil Bredesen for Senate and Jim Cooper for House of Representatives. Please, please educate yourself on the candidates running in your state and vote based on who most closely represents your values. For a lot of us, we may never find a candidate or party with whom we agree 100% on every issue, but we have to vote anyway. So many intelligent, thoughtful, self-possessed people have turned 18 in the past two years and now have the right and privilege to make their vote count. But first you need to register, which is quick and easy to do. October 9th is the last day to register to vote in the state of TN. Go to vote.org and you can find all the info. Happy voting! A post shared by Taylor Swift at Taylor Swift, on October 7, 2018 at 4.33 p.m. PDT.